Hello everyone and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we're taking a look at Ultra Class Clobber from Transformers Cyberverse Battle for Cybertron. You can see it boasts Energon armor and on the side it also calls them action attackers. So I don't know if that's new or if they were always, the Ultra Class was always called that, I'm not really sure. Um, but you can see it's that similar uh, open packaging that Ultra Class has been coming in since the beginning of Cyberverse. I do think it's interesting though that this is Transformers Cyberverse Battle for Cybertron. Whereas um, some things I've seen, like the new deluxe class figures are called Transformers Bumblebee Cyberverse Adventures. And I've also seen a repack of Warrior Class Megatron in packaging that says Transformers Bumblebee Cyberverse Adventures. But this and that Sharktacon pack that I got with uh, Hot Rod both said Transformers Cyberverse Battle for Cybertron. So I don't know. Is it the same toy line? Are they different toy lines? Coinciding toy lines? I honestly don't know. I don't know what's going on. Um, but this guy looks kind of neat. I wasn't really going to bother with these, but from what I can tell, he's actually got decent articulation, and it's just kind of a really neat little clobber figure, and I kind of feel like because of how big clobber is in relation to the other characters, this would kind of scale with other deluxe class figures. Um, they also had a bumblebee at the store when I found this, and he looked really weird and boxy, uh, but this guy actually looks kind of neat, so you can see the directions, maybe you can't, the directions are down there in the bottom. But I'm going to go ahead and get this guy out of the packaging, and we'll take a closer look. So here's Clobber out of the packaging, and right off the bat I have to say I love the color scheme. I think the purple color and the green go really well together. You have this, I guess it's more of a fluorescent yellow around the forearms and on the kneecaps, but that also looks pretty cool, I like that. Uh, you can see there is a gun included, and it's just kind of a simple blaster. Pegs very easily into the hand, no weird gimmick or anything. That looks pretty cool. Put that off to the side. Uh, you can see the armor, it's spring-loaded, which makes it a little floppy. I wish there was a way for it to kind of peg into the chest after it's deployed. Um, otherwise it just kind of rattles, but it looks kind of neat. Uh, how it works, if you come around to the back, you can see this little piece of plastic right here if you push that down the back will open you just kind of fold the armor back like this fold this in and then hold on you have to push that up that's what I'm doing wrong okay so then fold this up that'll close and then you can see the figure normal head Decepticon symbol on the chest also painted very nicely when you push this down again and then release. You can see it flips around. I think the gimmick works well. The armor's decent. You know, it's not amazing, but I think it's kind of cool. I think it's kind of a decent gimmick. But for now, I'm going to fold this all back up. Whoops. And close it. I mean, if you want, you can leave it locked in there all the time. It's completely up to you. If you just like the look of the figure here. Um... Articulation is actually pretty impressive. You have ball joints in the shoulder. You have a bicep swivel. You have 90 degrees in the elbow. You have a wrist swivel. It seems like it only wants to turn in one direction because of the transformation, but you can still get a little bit of wrist swivel there. You do have a ball joint in the hip, and then you have a knee, 90 degrees. Uh, you don't really, it kind of has built in ankle tilts, kind of an A stance. But uh, the ankles have a little bit of play this way because of the transformation. But, I mean, for an ultra-class figure from Cyberverse, that's a pretty impressive amount of articulation, I have to say. Because normally, like, the legs are solid and maybe the arms swivel. Maybe you get an elbow joint. You know, we've got ball joints, bicep swivels, wrist swivels, hips, knees. It's nuts. The one thing I will say, there is a little bit of you know, empty forearm, empty back of the leg, even empty back of the crotch butt, I guess you'd say, uh, which is a little weird. But I think given all the pain applications and articulation, it makes sense to have them save money somewhere. And it, it's not really that noticeable. I mean, you only see it from the back. It doesn't really affect just looking at the front. And I would rather have the articulation and have, you know, little empty forearms that don't really take away from anything, in my opinion. So I don't mind. I really don't mind it. And we'll go ahead and we'll flip this out one more time just for fun. It's a, I mean, it's a decent gimmick. It's kind of dumb, but at the same time, 
it's not bad. I just wish it had some way to lock in place after deployed so it wasn't so floppy. But Oh, I forgot about bringing the gun back in. I also just appreciate that Clobber comes with a normal gun. Nothing weird or gimmicky. It's not built into the wrist or anything. You can just easily put it in either hand. It's actually really cool. But now we'll go ahead, we'll get into the transformation. So for the transformation, I removed the gun. It'll come back into play later on. And I've put the armor back in the chest. So the first thing that we're going to do, uh, you can take the ankles and fold them all the way down. And then you can go ahead and peg the two legs together. If you had the hips or the knees bent in any way, make sure you straighten them out. You can rotate the fists. Like I said, they seem to only want to rotate outward. But there it is. Uh, you're going to actually lift up this section here. Like this. You're going to push this whole section up. And before you do that, you'll see that there's a pin here. And this whole uh, plate right here is going to rotate after you move this up. But don't try to rotate just this section. You have to rotate this whole panel here. Because when I first started playing with this, I was like, wait, this doesn't turn. What are you talking about? And then I realized it's that whole panel. So you'll see how that rotates around like that. Then this will come down like this. It almost looks like it's going to peg into these things here, but it doesn't. It just kind of comes down and rests just like that. At this point, you're going to, uh, this joint right here actually will flip around like so. And then you'll see that there's a tab here on the inner forearm and that's going to peg in to the side of the leg down there. So you're going to do that again with this one. And you'll know when to stop this because it just kind of, like there's a tab right, let me see if I can get that in there, right there. And that just kind of hits the plastic so you know when to stop. Don't push past it or uh, you could end up breaking it. So we'll zoom back out. And then at this point, you're going to bring that gun back in. And you're going to see how there's kind of clips right here. This is just going to clip right on there. And there you have your tank gun barrel. And that is Clobber in tank mode. I got to say, I think it's a decent little tank mode. It's not perfect. But for an Ultra Class figure, that's definitely a way more elaborate transformation than I thought I was going to see. Um, I'm pretty impressed with it, I gotta be honest. <laughs> I think it looks kind of neat. It's a fun little tank mode. Like I said, definitely for an Ultra Class figure, more involved transformation than I thought. Yeah, the gun turret doesn't move or anything, but... You know, he has the tank uh, barrel there, which I think looks pretty cool. He doesn't really roll or anything. He just kind of slides around, but I still think it's kind of fun. Just for fun, I want to see what happens when we, uh, there you go, deploy the armor. I mean, you could. You could leave that there. I guess the gun turret wouldn't be able to, you'd have to choose one or the other. But you could have that out. You just couldn't have the gun plugged back in. Let me put this all back in here, and then we'll plug this back on. But yeah, like I said, I was kind of blown away the first time with just how intricate the transformation was. Because most of the time, for these Ultra Class figures, it's either a shell former and everything just kind of closes around it. Or it's kind of like a lay them down, maybe one piece turns around or something like that. Um, but yeah, this is actually pretty neat. And I like what they were able to do. I mean, it's not a super cohesive tank and you can clearly see the arms just there on the side, but... Not bad, in my opinion. I actually really like this figure. Um, I didn't expect to love it as much as I do. Ultra Class has been very hit or miss over Cyber vs. Run. And uh, this is definitely one of the best ones we've gotten so far. Uh, love the color scheme. Articulation's on point. Transformation is way more complicated than I thought it was going to be. And is actually pretty cool. And I like the alt mode that you get when you're done. And uh, I don't know. I just think Clobber's a really cool figure. And I wanted to show this off. We have some... Uh, deluxe class from the like new fancy deluxes that they're doing the build-a-fig ones they kind of scale really nice with this figure it would make sense that clobber is a little bigger than megatron uh because clobber is kind of a bruiser a little bit bigger the muscle you know what i mean so it would totally make sense that clobber would be a little bit bigger so it's kind of cool that this figure can scale with those deluxe class toys if you want to kind of salvage him from the ultra line which is in my opinion not the best 
Uh, but this guy's kind of a diamond in the rough. So, yeah, I don't know. Um, I definitely recommend it. If you find it at stores, I think it's kind of cool. Like I said, the, the armor gimmick is not amazing, but I think it's decent. And it really doesn't impede the figure in any other way so that, uh, you know, you can still have a really cool figure with a gimmick. And this time the gimmick doesn't get in the way. Very few and far between for Cyberverse figures. So uh, that's going to do it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed the review. Please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, guys, thanks so much for watching.